Welcome to GFN Gaming, I'm Russ and in today's video we have just got our grubby little mitts on Dead Zone's new two player starter set. This is from Mantic Games and it's their sci-fi skirmish game. So we're going to open it up and see what's inside. So this is going to be an unboxing like no other because normally you have someone who knows what they're doing talking about it, but this time you just have a complete fool. It's a pretty sizable box. Let's uh, pop this open here carefully, obviously, very carefully. And let's have a look. It's got a lovely cover art. Ooh, that's chunky. Let's take a moment to enjoy that. Okie dokie. Ho oh, mama. This is, this is a stacked set. So, I think it's going to be much like the previous box set and there's going to be a lot of terrain. From what I saw, it's the same terrain set, which is great if you've already got it. It's obviously great if you don't have it, but if you've already got it and you are buying this section again, this, this box set again to get another uh, set of terrain, it's great because the more terrain, the better. If it's a densely populated board, that just looks even better. Although they do, um, Mantic do sell individual um, booster terrain sets uh, for a little bit cheaper than the core set. So if you are, if you've already got a box set um, you're, and you're just looking for more terrain, obviously get that, not this. But wow, that is, that's a lot of terrain right there. And we then have some of the enigmatic Asterian warriors, or at least some of them. We've got two sprues for them. And then we've got what looks like, oh, these are my favorite. These are the uh, plague abominations. Now, these for me are why you would get this set. So let's have a look. Let's have a look what else is in the box. So we've got models, their bases. A chunk, a chunk, a load of terrain. We have two more models. These will be the um, the resin leaders, the generals. The plague general looks absolutely, I'm gonna get him out because he looks absolutely amazing. This guy looks phenomenal. This is why, let's be fair, this is why you're getting this set. For this guy alone, what a great sculpt. So, coming in at three, four, five bits. There might be another little bit in the set somewhere. I don't know if that's part, I think that's just a connection sprue. So yeah, we've got these sets making what is one of the most amazing general dudes. We look at this little hat, so cool. Anyway, since we're here, let's open up this bad boy as well because this guy is also very cool. I love the style of this army. They look very, very cool. Big chunky boy as well. Very nice. And he's going to be holding this big, big old gun. Very cool. And then we have everything you need to play the game. So we've got a bunch of dice. So you've got your command dice for your abilities and you've got your D8s. Beware of the exploding eights. We've got everything you would expect. We've got tokens, so we've got objectives and we've got item tokens and we have wound counters and victory point tokens as well. So all good for playing the game. You've got your map. So this is a double sided map. On one side you have the game board, boom, the grid game board. On the other side you have a starter example game and it gives you basically a, um, like a, a reduced team and reduce objectives to learn the game. And it gives you the stats on here. So as you can see, very easy to play along with. So. Boom. You've got your how to build. It's very open. The terrain is super open. You can basically just make what you want, but it does have the models of how to build them in here as well. 
And then we have the two books that you need to play this game. So you've got the Force List, which it's the same as the previous editions, um, not edition, the previous box sets rule. So it's got all the troops in there. So if you want to go for your Mason Labs or your Marauders or Forge Fathers, all the rules for all the teams are in here. And you can see at the back, we've got the Asterians, Enforcers, GCPS, Forge Fathers, Marauders, Mason Labs, Nameless, all of them, the Rebs, the Plague, and the, the World's Falling Down, and the Vermin. So this is as you would expect. And you also have the rule book. So this is obviously everything you need to play the actual game. And it's got some example scenarios in the back for you to set up and play. And obviously it's got a little background here. Um, but yeah, so that is what's in the box. Rule books, tokens, dice, miniatures, a shed load of terrain, a game map with an example scenario and instructions, for building it all. So a big thank you to Mantic Games who sent me a copy ahead of release to review. So I'll be looking to get it painted up and having a few games with it as well. So for me, I'm loving the idea of a second terrain set to add to my existing one because this game really comes into its own with a densely packed game board. Also, as I mentioned before, I'm a huge fan of the Plague Abominations and I've been eyeing the models for a while already, so the fact that they are now on the starter kit is amazing for me. But why are you buying it, or should you? There's nothing in this kit that you hadn't already got from the previous Dead Zone Edition 3 box set, aside from the change in teams of course. The previous box gave you the hard to pronounce Vermin and the GCPS Troopers, and now we have the Asterians and the Plague Abominations, but everything else is the same. As the name implies, it's a starter set, so this is another jumping on point for Mantic sci-fi skirmish game Dead Zone. They probably aren't looking to get people who already bought the previous box set to buy in again. However, if you have already got the box set and were thinking about getting a second terrain set to flesh out your game board, you could buy the individual terrain pack which gives you this terrain for I think it's £60 if you go direct to Mantic, or for a slightly increased price of 95 you could get two brand new teams as well. So it's not a huge ask, but in general, as this is a starter set, I think it's a starting point for new people who have either played the game but don't own it, or have yet to try one of the best skirmish games going. I'll link the previous games I've had on the channel if you want to see the game in action, but honestly, the rule set is great. It's a really nice blend of easy to pick up, but complex enough that it remains difficult to master. I'd imagine I have personally yet to master this game. At first glance, the unit's rules can seem quite overwhelming and will take you a minute to get used to if you're anything like me, but at its core, it's a really great game that I don't feel takes itself too seriously. By that, I mean they have included elements of controlled chaos that make games incredibly impossible to predict. They've got exploding eight mechanics when they're rolling dice, having a scatter template for certain weapons, which just brings me so much joy. I love scatter templates for weapons. The game also uses a really simple movement mechanic, which completely nullifies the need for measuring gauges or tape measures. It's just all grid based from the movement to weapons range and moving units in this way really does bring back memories of just playing board games as a kid. And it's just so easy to pick up uh, for this reason. It just feels like a great gateway game for your perhaps less miniature wargaming inclined friends who maybe aren't keen on the expense of starting full scale wargaming and the amount amount of resources required to actually play those games. As easy as the game is to pick up, the list building element of Dead Zone and the unit's special rules, which I would ignore for training games, they really add a complexity that I can see myself getting invested in. I love list building. It's something I used to do all the time, tailor making your list to destroy your previous opponent's list, only to discover when you turn up for game night, they are completely a different team. They are fielding different units and your list building has all been for naught. And again, that just kind of adds to that controlled chaos that I think this game nails for me. I still think this game is a great jumping on point for skirmish game fans and for people dipping their toes in miniature wargaming in general. And I think it has everything that you need and comes in a very neat package.
It's currently on pre-order right now, so if you are looking to get a copy, I'll leave a link to the Mantic store, but check with your local gaming shop to see if they have any stock or do practice games so you can try it. Make sure you check out my Kill Team podcast, Kill Team Casuals, link in the description. And if you'd like to support the channel more than you already are, please consider joining my Patreon. You get early access to all videos and can voice characters in the campaign series running on my channel. Thanks very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.